Greetings everyone. In this short video we're going to look at implementing Azure Active Directory security for our API management developer portal. There's an article in the documentation so if you remember we started at the very beginning uh, the API management documentation in there is a section for authenticate with Azure AD. Essentially this is the section that we will be following throughout this particular video. The first things first is uh, we want to go out to, uh, to our portal and to our API instance and what we're going to be looking at is all in this developer portal section right and mainly in this context today we're going to be talking about identities. And we're going to add in an Active Directory identity so we want to add and we're going to select Active Directory right there. The important thing to note is we're going to need this redirect URL for later so keep that in mind and we'll need these information once we create our um, application registration. So I'm going to open up a new window and you'll probably want to do this yourself and have two windows going. We're going to go into um, our portal again with a new window and if you don't see Active Directory there uh, you can go over here to security and then Azure Active Directory is right there. Now I have a tenant right here and we're going to go on the left hand side to application registrations and we're going to create a new registration right so uh, under registrations here, um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new registration. And in this case, give it a name that's friendly to you. And um, we're going to leave the top one enabled where it's only for our organization. You could do other advanced options later. And then the URL we just copied, you'll want to paste that in right here. right? And you'll register that. Now I've already created one, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And you give it something like I have here so you know it's the developer portal for whatever API instance you'll want. And when you go into your registration, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't really have that much. You'll need to go ahead and essentially first create a, uh, a, a key or secret. And then secondly, we'll need to, um, for our group's implementation, we'll, we'll need to do some additional permissions there. So first, we're going to go ahead and copy our client ID from the application right here because we're going to need that uh, in our uh, whoops, sorry, in our uh, portal right back over here. So that's our client ID. And I have a secret that uh, if you go to secrets, uh, under secrets down here, you'll want to create, uh, you can see mine's blanked out because it, you'll need to copy it as soon as you do it. So create your secret. Uh, let's just, I'm just going to test to give it a year. And as soon as it creates it, you'll need to copy this because, as the message says, you won't be able to get it again. So I've already got this copied on another window. Um, let me uh, paste that in. If I go back over here, and there's our... And lastly, we want to go ahead and get the, uh, the name of the tenant. And I'm going to back out to the tenant itself, uh, to the root of it. And that's your name down here. Right, what's and you can have other options, but I'm going to leave that as the only one, keeping it super simple. That's the name of my tenant. Now, that's all I need to implement Active Directory security, but we want to be able possibly to implement pull in some security groups, right? Um, to pull in those groups into our system. So, what do we need to do, Brad? Well, over here, back to our app registrations, we need to grant permission for our app to read from Active Directory. So if we go to API permissions, um, unfortunately, you you would see actually uh, just un user read. Um, I've, I added this in uh, just attempting to, that's the newer version, but unfortunately that still doesn't fly. You'll need to go in and click add permission, scroll to the bottom for Azure Active Directory, and it'll tell you that it's going to be expired, app permission, and you'll select that directory read that we've just looked at, right? Um, and you'll add that in. And once you save those particular permissions out, you should then be able to go back over to our API management. And now, remember, we had groups, and we've added those other groups in from the last. And you see these are custom groups. If you go add Active Directory group, uh, I can select my tenant, and I happen to have a group over there called API Developers with a test user in that. And just to show you that really quickly, here is my. Uh, Um, go back to our if I go to groups here's that group I have and inside of that group I do have a user in that group um, okay 
and the user is actually here in Active Directory as well. Um, it is um, test user. So this uh, test user here is in that particular group. So what we're going to do is add that group in here and now uh, now you see it listed and it'll say external. So that means that any one of that we haven't associated remember with what we saw before we haven't associated this group with any products yet but as you saw before now the anybody any user that we have that's an Active Directory user will be able to log into the portal uh, to use that. So let's go ahead and finish this up before we look at the portal in the next video let's go ahead and associate this group with the product that we previously created so remember we had our product and we go to access control and we've had a previous other group that we created let's go ahead and create the new active directory group as well linking that to that product okay and there's our API developers group so now that groups in I hope you've got some good stuff out of this particular video. Um, next video, we'll start digging into the portal to see what developers would see and how they would or would not be able to access various APIs in the portal. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.